Oh, looks like we're going to be doing some climbing. Or, or not. I'd be a terrible sailor. I can't tie knots for shit. Look at those waves! I'd be bricking it if I was on that ship. I'd be terrified. God, it's amazing. Alright, secure this. Secure the broken rope. Look at the lightning as well. We need more speed. Loose the sails. Paint them. You take the foremast. James, to the main mast with you. Now we're gonna do some climbing. All right. Let's get our asses up here. I don't know if I've gone the, the right way here, actually. Have I? Ah, I can just scoop along there. Whoa! My word. You'd have to be a madman to do this in this weather, wouldn't you? Giving us some more speed. Oh shit. It's going down, Timber! Still alive? He is! Hang on, dude! Stop whining, I'll get to you. Hurry! I'm here, dude. Oh my god. Epic rescue. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. No worries, mate. All in a day's work for Hatham Kenway. Ship sinking. <laughs> they were crap sailors. Well, our tactic worked. Nice one. And calmer waters. Day 72. Over two months at sea. That would kill me. I'd definitely get a case of the old cabin fever. You know what the best pirate film is that I've ever seen? Muppets Treasure Island. Now that is a film. Get it watched. Is that dried bread? I don't think I'd eat that. Alright, rescue James within, we did that. So we've done all the optional objectives so far. Meet the captain at the bow. Where's the, um... Where's the hatch? Here it is. Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. Alright, any excuse to climb, eh? Let's climb these things. The ropes, or whatever you call them. The rigging. I'm not a sailor, I really don't know the terminology, but... All I do know is we need to get up high. Um, yeah, the central mast, I suppose that works as well. So it's just so much quicker climbing in this game. What a view. What a view we're about to have.
I do love those uh, sort of opening intro little cutscenes. Do give me tingles. And now we're in the loading screen again. We're going to be seeing this a lot, by the way, and some of them are quite lengthy, so. Yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. But at least we can run around. Zigzagging. It's all good. And we have arrived. Sequence 2, Boston, 1754. Master Kenway! Master Kenway! Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle it. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Well, aren't you eager? I by any chance John and Isabella, sir. One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives, I thought... Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... Hello? I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Bloody hell! Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. So this is our first taste of Boston. Some red coats there. Now, I'm really not an expert on this historical period, so Boston's I'm going to be very city. ignorant to certain things. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover? Oh, don't you worry, I'm going to be exploring. Oh, we need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. What are we going to, what are we going to do? Use select to bring up the world map. Alright, so. Um, we haven't actually <laughs> unlocked any of this map yet, so that doesn't really help at all. Find a general store, was that? Okay. Very nice looking city. But yeah, I, like, I've never studied this historical period. Back in school, all we did was, like, World War One, World War Two, and... Yeah, so I, I'm completely lost when it comes to stuff like this. I know a little bit, but not too much. So forgive my ignorance is basically what I'm trying to say. And yeah, you've just seen those uh, little kids, the orphans. They are basically like the beggar women and the bards. They just make strange noises and harass you. Unfortunately, you can't stab little kids. I mean, um, fortunately, you can't stab little kids, because that would be sick, wouldn't it? But uh, they are quite annoying, so... I don't know what I'm actually doing here. I suppose I need to head down to street level. Jump across! Okay, that was cool. And... Jump down. This is good, probably gonna hurt. Or we could transition straight into a cutscene. This accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin. Pleased to meet you. Benjamin Franklin. Nathan Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But, should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store of... <laughs> See, that NPC just vanished then. <laughs> inside the general oh. store, eh? That was interesting. 
Yeah, so we can find those almanac pages that are floating around the place, and you have to actually chase them, because they do move, they're not static. So I'll probably get a couple of those, if I come across them. Also got these missions, which are courier missions, I think, where you can deliver letters. You, can we pet the dog? Oh, good boy. He's a good boy. That is awesome. Anyway, Animus database. Don't need to check that out. So we go inside the general store here. Now, as far as far as I'm aware, you don't need to renovate stores and shops in this game like you did the previous ones. We need to buy ourselves a sword and a pistol. Good job, uh, Haytham's got a bit of cash on him. I think normal weapons, normal sword, 700. Yeah. Need to uh, arm ourselves. We're in a new new world now. Who ta who knows what kind of dangers we're gonna have to face? A flintlock pistol. So gone is the pistol inside the hidden blade. We actually just have a regular pistol, which is pretty cool. Even though they take an age to reload, but that's realistic. Follow Lee to the Green Dragon on horseback. Do I have to do that now? Can I not explore a bit? Um, where is he? Oh, he's over there. I suppose we'll get on our horse. Who, um, I'm not going to christen Jeeves. There's a reason for that, though. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? I, William Johnson, waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause, and you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. Sorry guys, I just had to, uh, un well, mute my mic a second. Um, need to catch up to him, don't I? How do we sprint? Oh, I just, now I just bash into that old woman. I do apologise. There we go. Oh, we're here already. That's good. Dismount. Welcome to Boston. New email received. So, can we actually leave the Animus now? New weapons available in shops. Nice. Um, let me just check. What can we do? This is the pause menu. You got the database, DNA tracker, Animus Training Center. Leave Animus, yeah, so we could go back to the present and do a bit of Desmond stuff, but I don't know, I've lost interest in the Desmond side of things. I'm much more invested in what's going on inside the Animus. Let's enter the green dragon, was it? Lying, cheating, no good, son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've you coming on to me? Rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. <laughs> Bit of friction between these two, I think. Do you require anything further? Only privacy. Yeah, so basically, leave us the fuck alone. That's what I'm trying to say. Follow Charles Lee. The man with the incredibly thick moustache and brows. Look at the sunlight coming through the windows. It's a very, very good looking game, this. Who's this chap? Sir, William Johnson. William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest. I'm told.
told you putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. We only just got here. Can we not relax a bit? Uh. Anyway, a lot of you may, may be thinking, <clears throat> why, why, where's the main dude that we play as? Where's the assassin dude? Well, the game does start off pretty slow, and it does take a while before we get to that stage, but it's okay, because the plot is quite interesting, at least to me, so I didn't really mind it too much. But it won't be a spoiler to say we won't be playing as this guy for the whole game, so bear with it. And uh, it does take us straight to our objectives and missions at this point in the game as well, so we don't really don't have have too much time to explore. We seem to be uh, out in the sticks a little bit here. Look at all that. Can we run through that field? Oh, we can! Look at that! Oh! Oh! So fun! Anyway. Um, in fact, I've been recording for a long time here, so I might have to end it. In the next video, we're going to speak to this chap. Thomas Hickey is his name? It might be. I don't know. I've, I've forgotten already. But, hope you're enjoying this so far. And um, look forward to the next one. So, see you in a bit.